What is up guys, Tirukla here again with another video on my journey to the blockchain and the NFT world. In today's video, we'll be talking about how to fund our Terra wallet and also how to earn interest when staking stablecoins. Uh, if you haven't set up your Terra Station wallet, I have another video that I'll put a link in the description below um, on how to install the Terra wallet. It's similar to installing other uh, decentralized wallet like uh, MetaMask and Uroi or other ecosystems. So, um, Terra, uh, if you can see here in Terra, that money is a programmable money for the internet. Uh, I've been hearing about this uh, ecosystem, so I'm I'm gonna try it. Um, uh, just play around with it and do some staking, uh, make myself earn a little bit of interest in it. And um, before I proceed, this is not a financial advice. This is for entertainment and uh, educational purposes only. Um, I've been. This is what I'm doing as I'm learning and. Proceeding with my journey with crypto world. So I have my Terra wallet. It's uh, I'm using Chrome this time, so uh, it's gonna be on the extensions. Uh, this is the Terra Station wallet, uh, and I I have a little bit of USD, which is the stable coin of Terra ecosystem. Uh, I haven't bought Luna yet. Uh, for this video, I'm gonna uh, show you how to fund some uh, USD and then later on stake them for um, interest. So first, what is a stablecoin? So uh, if you look here in Nerd Wallet, saying stablecoin definition, what are they? and how do they work so um, you can read through this uh, do your own research on what it is but basically stable coins are cryptocurrencies whose values are tied to those of real world assets such as US dollars euro or any other currencies uh, uh, this is developed in part to respond to the price volatility yeah. stable coins uh, are either backed by uh, fiat currency or uh, crypto backed crea um, stable coins. It's usually, stable coin is usually um, sort of like uh, an entry point. Like there's some, some altcoins that you need to, uh, the pairing is with a stable coin, like a USDT, um, uh, and in this case as well is. Uh, USD. So uh, here again, it says, "How do stablecoin works?" Blah blah blah. blah. Uh, it's it's backed by multiple sources, include, including fiat currency. And uh, what we're gonna be using today, the USD, is uh, crypto backed by stablecoins. It's uh, it's backed by the Terra. Um, cryptocurrency, the USD. So, uh, if you if you want to learn more about stablecoin, I suggest uh, you read up and then uh, watch a lot of videos um, that sort of discussing what stablecoins are. Um, and again, even if it's called stable stablecoins. Uh, some of them are not so stable, so um, there's always risks uh, involved in this investment. Investment, so uh, do your own research and um, spend only the money you can afford to lose. So where do we get USD? If you look, it will look here in Coin My Market Cap. Any type USD for the Terra USD, Terra US dollars. Um, and we go to the market, we can see all the, all the other um, 
centralized exchanges that we can buy the Terra uh, USD. But for our purposes today, which is really staking uh, the USD, we cannot just buy it directly um, through these exchanges. Uh, most of these exchanges are uh, uh, in the Ethereum um, network. Um, I've been using uh, Coinbase and uh, I made a mistake with Matic before where I bought Matic on it, not thinking that it's, uh, it's uh, from a different, from Ethereum and not the, the Polygon network. So um, this is the same thing here in USD. Um, when you buy it from, from Coinbase exchanges, uh, Coinbase exchange, it's you're actually buying the USD in the Ethereum network. So if you want to, um, if you want to move them to the Terra ecosystem, you're you're gonna incur um, gas fees and other transactions fees. So um, it's uh, when you're dealing with the, this uh, other chains, yeah, it's um, better to to do a, li a little bit of digging and research on it. So in order for me to get the UST where they, um, from Fiat, what I usually do is uh, go to my Coinbase account and I don't buy the UST directly. I buy uh, uh, some Solana and then use a Qcoin to, to convert it to a USD. Uh, it's less um, gas fee, less transaction fee. Um, I've, I've been using uh, this process like Coinbase to Qcoin and then to the centralized wallet. Um, when I uh, found out about it, um, but usually before I'm, I'm buying USDT um, from Coinbase and then using USDT um, to to buy my other altcoins in the centralized exchange in Qcoin, I mean, and then sending it over to the centralized exchanges. And then I I saw this um, this YouTube from Bitcoin Express Express of Chains, and he sort of uh, made this suggestion that. It's uh, it's cheaper to buy like Solana and other cheaper and faster um, coins, and then send it to to KuCoin, and then and then use it to either um, get USDT if if the altcoin you're dealing with only use USDT, and so that's what I've been using that, and it might sound complicated at first but it's not really um it's just a matter of like testing it out and trying it for yourself so uh for this video let's try i already have some usd in my q coin but for this video let's try to buy 50 dollars worth of solana You buy it. So Solana run is nine twenty four. Um, so there's always a Coinbase fee. So we're getting forty eight oh one. Uh, so we we'll go over there, buy some Solana, and also I already have some Solana in here. Um, So now that we bought Solana from Coinbase, we are gonna need to send it over to the Q our Qcoin account in order to buy um, other altcoin. Or in in this case, for this video, we're gonna buy USD. So there's some network warning here, but I'll I'll try 
um, sending it over, see what happens. So I'm here in my uh, Qcoin account. Uh, let's go to our main account. Let's deposit the Sol, Solana. Take Sol, this guy, and we want to deposit. And we're gonna get our uh, Qcoin address from here. And it's the Solana. And we want to copy our address and then we'll go back to our Coinbase and we'll send the $50 uh, worth of Solana to this address. Demo. You don't have to put any node on it, but it's optional basically. And then it says here when we're sending it, uh, there's no Coinbase fee and sending it over, uh, and there's a very minimal network fee. So, okay, we'll send it now. And then I have to enter my two-step verification and confirm it. And there you go, it's sent. It's a transaction, sh transaction usually takes a few seconds. Okay, so after I think a few, two or three minutes, I have here in my notification, you have received your Solana. And there it is, uh, my Solana. 49.6 Solana. Okay, so Qcoin has uh, the main account and the trading account. So if we go to our trading account, uh, you can see I already have some USD in there. The Solana is only a few because uh, we transferred to the main. Uh, we send, I mean, we send it to the main from my Qcoin account. So the Solana is still in the Qcoin account and we just want to transfer it over from the main account to the trading account. And we'll confirm it. Solana is not there. And then if we go to the trading account, and the Solana is there. So next thing we need to do is trade our Solana to Terra USD, the USD. So we go here and trade, spot trading. And if you're new to Qcoin, and this is a bit uh, intimidating, but uh, once you get a hang of it, it's not really um, that hard. So if we go here, we type on Solana, and we can see all the pairings of to Solana. And then, and as you can see here, the reason I chose Solana, aside from it's uh, uh, it's cheap, it's also there's a direct uh, pairing with it with USD. If you're trying to buy other coins with a non-direct non pairing, you can. Um, Send your Solana for USDT and then USDT to whatever coin you want to buy. So basically here, it's going to be Solana to USD. And we want to sell our Solana in here in the lower right corner. So we want our trade to immediately uh, take effect. So we'll choose a market and then we'll see. Uh, we'll try to sell 100% of our Solana and then sell it. And you just place the order, and there you go. And it's successful. So, now it, we go back. So it's not on the main account, it's on the trading account. Um, a while ago, we have one $99. USD and since we bought another $50 worth, $49 worth 
uh, of USD, it's now the balance has increased. So now, in order for us to transfer it over to the, our Terra wallet, we need to transfer it from the trading account to the main account. So, confirm it. And then, why did it only transfer? Let's go back here. Available amount. Okay. This is what I have. Oh, I have an existing order for there, I believe. That's why it only transferred the $50. So. I have an open order, I think, yeah. I have an open uh, USD Luna for those uh, $99. So that's why it only transferred that $50. So let's work with that one, with that $50 that we transferred. And then we're sending it over to the Terra station wallet so let's go back to our main account and this is our uh, USD and in order to transfer it to uh, other exchanges either decentralized or centralized you need to click on the withdraw and then you need to put the withdrawal address in here so let's go back to our Terra wallet and copy over the, the wallet address and paste it in here and then we need to select the network and we are sending it to a Terra uh, network and it says here enter memo um, the last time I did it and also the YouTube channels that I watch is said the memo is not uh, needed for this so uh, I'll try to click all. I don't think I can click. I think you need to have. There's a $2 uh, fee. So let's say 44. And then uh, just double check our address. And then click on withdraw. And then confirm and then I need to get uh, to type in my uh, trading password here and then and there you go since we go to our Terra station wallet see if it's there and there it is Okay, so uh, I want to do expand it as well, the same way as I'm uh, doing it when I'm dealing with MetaMask. I forgot where it is. Oh, there it is. Okay, expand so that it's on another tab. So what I'm going to do next is uh, put it on the Anchor protocol. Um, in order for me to earn some interest on it um, okay oh, I disconnected it so I have to connect my Terra wallet um, this is the balance that I currently have on my wallet uh, if I go to earn I already uh, put $96.95 I believe on it so um, in, if I wanted to add 
uh, my balance I just click on deposit uh, I need leaving less so I need to say how many how much do I need Let's say 47 47 dollars and zero seven let's say 47 dollars so there's a 25 dollars uh, transaction fee we'll click on proceed and then and then there you go it deposited it and the good thing on the anchor protocol you get 17.91 percent apy projected apy projected 16.51 have been just reading this number it used to be 19 percent um so but 17.91 is not that bad so in here it will show you the expected interest on the year on month week day 0.7 cents per day 14 almost 50 cents per week and two dollars per month and 25 dollars in a year not not bad compared to bank deposits so um, and then you can withdraw it anytime say you want to withdraw $35 you'll incur, incur 25 cents um, let's say you want to proceed and then post it uh, this is the balance that I have a while back and then there you go you withdraw it um, uh, so it's there's no locking there's no um, lock in period I mean when you're putting your money on this so I'll I'll deposit it back uh, say 36 dollars Proceed. Boost it. There you go. So that's it. That's what I'm trying to do now. I'm trying to uh, put some stable coins in the Anchor protocol and um, see what happens. I think that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Again, this is Dick the Cloy. Oh.